Welcome to Colony TV, the governmental educational channel for the town of Colony. And how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello, everybody, and how are you? Yes, indeed, my darling. Now we're going to wake up our eyes so we can see our stories. Hello to my eyes, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello to my eyes, and how are you? Yes, indeed, my darling. And let's wake up our ears so we can hear our stories. Hello to my ears, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello to my ears, and how are you? Yes, indeed, my darling. And now let's wake up our mouths so we can sing some songs. Hello to my mouth, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello to my mouth, and how are you? Yes, indeed, my darling. Very nice job, everybody. <laughs> and today, the theme of our story time begins with this and ends with this. What do you guys think this is? A. A. And what is this? Z. Our story time is about the alphabet today. So let's see if we can fit the whole alphabet on our board. Do you think we can do it? Yeah. <gasps> well, let's try. We're going to try with our first book, which is called K is for Kissing a Cool Kangaroo by Giles Andre. Let's see if we can fit all of our letters. A is for apple that grows on the tree. Now you guys say the letter when I hold it up. B is for busy and big bumblebee. <gasps> C is for cat that has got all the cream. D. D is for dragonfly, daisy, and dream. E is for elephant, mighty and strong. F is for footprints, one hundred feet long. Oh my goodness, who could that belong to, that footprint? Oh! That's right! <laughs> G is for giant whose garden grows wild. And H is for holding the hand of a child. I is for igloo, a house made of ice. We lost our E, he's falling away. And J is for jelly bean. Ooh, they're so nice. K is for kissing a cool kangaroo. And L is for loving like daddy loves you. M is for mischievous, monkey and mat. N is 
for naughty and no, don't do that. <gasps> oh, is for octopus. Arms everywhere. Is for peaceful and piglet and pear. <gasps> Q is for quickly I cuddled the queen. And R, close R, is for robot and racing machine. <gasps> is for snowman and sister and snake. <gasps> T, T is for tea time. So let's have some cake. You is for unicorn, uncle, and utter. B is for vampire whose teeth make you shudder. W whispers and waves you goodbye. X is for xylophone. Don't ask me why. <laughs> is for Yeti and Yo-Yo and Yes. And Z is for Zebra. Now how did you guess? <laughs> and that is K is for kissing a cool kangaroo. Good job, guys. Did we fit all of our letters on our board? Yes! We did fit all of our letters. Why don't we sing the alphabet song to make sure we have them all? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Oh, nice job, everybody. Zzz. Did you hear that? Zzz. Did you guys hear that? Zzz. Did you? Zzz. Zzz. Oh, my goodness, it's Mr. Fly. It's old black fly. And he came to see us today, and he has a story to tell us. Should we hear his story? OK, but I need your help for this story. And what I need you guys to help me say is, although Fly is very nice, we don't really like him around because he's kind of dirty. And sometimes he gets on our food, and it's kind of germy and yucky, right? So we're going to say, shoo, Fly, shoo, Fly, shoo. Can you guys help me? Let's practice. Shoo, Fly, shoo, Fly, shoo. Okay, let's hear Black Fly's song. Book. It's by Jim Aylesworth. Old Black Fly's been buzzing around, buzzing around, buzzing around. Old Black Fly's been buzzing around, and he's had a very busy day. He ate on the crust of the apple pie. He bothered the baby and made her cry. <gasps> shoo, fly, shoo, fly, shoo. He coughed on the cookies with the chocolate bits. He drove the dog nearly out of his wits. Shoo, fly, shoo, fly, shoo. He frolicked on the eggs for the birthday cake and he licked 
up the frosting, for goodness sake. Shoo, fly, shoo, fly, shoo. He danced on the edge of the garbage sack. He got sweet honey on his dirty back. Shoo, fly, shoo, fly, shoo. He hid in the ivy by the kitchen sink. He stole some jelly as quick as a wink. Shoo, fly, shoo, fly, shoo. He played on the keys by the kitchen door. He lit on the list for the grocery store. Shoo, fly, shoo, fly, shoo. He lapped up the milk in the poor kitty's bowl. He nibbled on noodles in the casserole. Shoo, fly, shoo, fly, shoo. He crawled in the spills from the olive oil can. He pestered the parrot on her stand. Shoo, fly, shoo, fly, shoo. He snoozed on the quilt on grandma's bed. He rode the red ribbon on her head. Shoo, fly, shoo, fly, shoo. He sniffed the salami that sister sliced. He ran around her teacup once or twice. Shoo, fly, shoo, fly, shoo. He slept on the stack of clean underwear. He played on the vase by the velvet chair. Shoo, fly, shoo, fly, shoo. Will we ever get him to shoo? He dozed on the window in the summer heat. He made a little X with his front feet. Shoo, fly, shoo, fly, shoo. He buzzed about the yarn in Mama's lap. He landed on her table, flap, flip, flap. Zzz, zzz, what's going to happen to the cake? Zzz, zzz, splat! <laughs> oh, there goes the fly. Old black flies done buzzing around. Buzzing around, buzzing around. Old black flies done buzzing around, and he won't be back no more. Aw. Hey, thank you, Mr. Fly, for telling us such a nice story. I think what we're going to do now is we are going to play a guessing game with our alphabet. And it goes like this. What's in the box? It's a mystery. What's in the box? Shall I look and see? What's in the box? Can you guess for me? Solve the mystery. I start with a C and I end with a P. I'm round with a handle, you drink out of me. Fill me with juice or with peppermint tea or your favorite drink. What can I be? Let's see, let's dig around. Oh, you're right. A cup was in the box. Shall we try another one? Okay, let's see. I start with an F and I end with a G. Hmm. My colors and stripes identify me. On my pole I fly high as I wave in the sky. What? in the world can I possibly be? <gasps> Let's see a flag. Good job, guys. Shall we do one more? Okay, one more. 
I start with an N and I end with an E. You use me to smell, you use me to breathe. I run but don't walk. I'm above where you talk. What can I be? Can you name me? Let me see. Let me see if I can find what a <laughs> nose! Oh a nose! You guys were right. Oh, that's so silly. Okay, well I have a silly book for you guys now that we played a silly game. And the silly book is called Z is for Moose. Now in this book, the animals want to put on a play about the alphabet. So Z is a zebra is the director. He's going to tell all the animals what to do. And let's see what happens. Z is for Moose by Kelly Bingham. There's the zebra directing all the animals and characters what to do. A is for apple. B is for ball. C is for cat. D is for moose. No. no. Oh, moose. Moose does not start with D. You're on the wrong page, Zebra tells him. <laughs> e is for elephant. Oh, the moose is in the way. <laughs> F is for fox. G is for glove. H is for... Is it my turn yet? Is it my turn yet? Oh, moose, it's not your turn yet. I is for ice cream, J is for jar, K is for kangaroo, L is for lollipop. What comes after L? <gasps> Ooh, let's see. M is for mouse. <gasps> What? Poor Moose. He didn't get to be on the M page. <gasps> Wait. No. That was supposed to be me. Moose with an M. Oh. N is for needle. <gasps> Moose, control yourself. Oh my goodness. I think he got a little upset. He knocked over the queen. R is for Moose. Oh my goodness. S is for moose. Oh my goodness. T is for truck. Look at zebra protecting the truck. U is for umbrella. V is for violin. W is for whale. X is for xylophone. <gasps> Who's crying in this picture? Moose is very sad. I can't go on, says Moose. What do you think zebra will do? <gasps> Z is for zebra's friend, Moose. Oh, what a nice friend zebra is. Moose got in the book after all. <laughs> Now I think it's time that we stand up and do a little rhyme together. It's on the back of your sheets for parents who want to follow along. We're going to go like this and we're all going to be alligators to begin. A is for alligator. Chomp, chomp, chomp. B is for bunny. C is for circle, round and round. D is for dizzy, we all fall down. <laughs>
Good job, guys. Now what I'm going to do for our next story is I have a little helper. And I need more helpers from everybody out here. I'm going to hand everyone a letter. And you're going to have a turn to come up and help me with this book. This book is called I Stink. And it's by Kate and Jim McMullen. And we have a helper here that is a garbage truck. And so we're going to be putting our garbage in the garbage truck. I stink. Who am I? I've got lights. Ten wide tires. No AC, not me. I've got doubles, steering wheels, gas pedals, and brakes. I am totally doo-wop. Know what I do at night while you're asleep? Eat your trash. <laughs> Say, ah. Feed me. <coughs> We're going to skip ahead. So he gets fed all night long while you're sleeping, and then he goes, Burp. oh my goodness. Let's see if we can find out what the garbage truck eats. He has room for alphabet soup. So we're going to see what alphabet soup is to the garbage truck. And when you hear your letter, you can come up and you can feed the garbage truck. Put it right in the bag. Now I have room for alphabet soup. Get a load of my recipe. Apple cores. Feed me. Put it right inside. B for banana peels. Feed me. C for candy wrappers. Feed me. D for dirty diapers. Feed me. Ew. E for eggshells. Feed me. Good job. Fish heads. F for fish heads. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Feed me. Good job. G for gobs and gobs of gum. Feed me. Good job. H for half eaten hot dogs. Feed me. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. I for icky ice cream cartons. Feed me. Good job. Yum, 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 yum. J for jam jars. There it is. Feed me. Good job. K for kitty litter. Come on. Ew. L for lobster claws. Feed me. M for moldy meatballs. Feed me. N for nasty neckties. O for orange peels. P for puppy poo. Ew. <laughs> we have Q for quail bones. We have R for rotten radishes. S for smelly sneakers. Ew, P U. T for toothpaste tubes. Ew. U for ugly underpants. Ew. V for vacuum bags. 
W for watermelon rinds. X for extra large t-shirts. Y for year old yams. Ew. And Z for zipped up ZD with zucchini. And you know what the garbage truck says? Thank you very much. <laughs> the end. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Now I have a story to tell you guys up here about this little boy. This little boy loved his grandma and he loved to go to grandma's house. But to go to his grandmother's house, he had to cross over a stream. And one day it rained and it rained and it rained and the stream flooded. And the little boy didn't know how he was gonna get to grandmother's house. So he said, I've gotta get over there because my grandma's expecting me. I always go over on Saturdays and there's her house up there and here's the stream. But oh, all of a sudden he looked and he noticed that there was a log in the stream, just like this. He said, I bet I can cross that log. Ah, let me try. Oh, zoop. Oh, it's too slippery. What to do? Oh, not to fear. He found three rocks. He could step on the rocks and use the log. Do you guys think you can help me count his rocks? One, two, three. Oh, he was so happy he could get across with the rocks. But the log ended. Oh, wait, there's another one right here. If I can push it and pull it here, I bet I can make it stick. Ah, there we go. I'm a little closer to Grandma's house, but I'm not there yet. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Here's another log. I bet we can go across this one. Oh no, but that one's slippery too. Maybe there's more rocks. Oh, he was in luck. There's three more rocks. Can you help him count? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh, he's almost to Grandma's house. Let's see. Oh, he made it. Oh, he was so excited. So he was so proud of himself, right? That was hard to get to Grandma's house. He worked really hard, so he thought he would look back and see what he accomplished and what he did. So he turned around and he saw a, a, a alligator. <laughs> oh, that was so silly. It's an A. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that alligator, how did he get up there? My goodness. All right, now we're going to sing one more song that has a lot of letters in it. And I bet some of you know this song. It's about a farmer and a dog. And the dog is named Bingo. Okay, so let's sing along. I knew a farmer. Bingo was his name. Oh, B I N G O. B I N G O. B I N G O. And Bingo was his name. Oh. Now, after each phrase, we're going to take one letter away, and we're only going to clap. So this time we're going to take away the B. I know a farmer who had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, I-N-G-O, 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 and bingo was his name. Oh, I knew a farmer who had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, N-G-O, N-G-O. N-G-O and bingo was his name-o. Oh. 
I knew a farmer who had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh, Geo, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, I knew a farmer who had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, and Bingo was his name. Oh, oh, last one. I knew a farmer who had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh, and Bingo was his name. Oh, very nice job, everybody. Now, we've read lots of stories and have lots of songs. And our alphabet is getting really tired. So let's see what happens when the alphabet gets really tired in the sleepy little alphabet. By Judy Sierra. It's sleepy time in alphabet town as moms and dads run round and round. The little letters skitter scatter, helter skelter. What's the matter? Uh-oh, A is wide awake, and B still has a bath to take. With chubby C and rub-a-dub D, make room for me, says Eensy E. F is full of fidgety wiggles. G has got the googly giggles. H try standing on her head. I and J jump on the bed. K won't give a kiss good night. L cries, don't turn off the light. M is mopey. N is naughty. Oops. O and P upset the potty. Oh, ew. <laughs> Q is quiet as a bunny. R and S read something funny. T tucks in her teddy bear. U takes off his underwear. V is very, very snoozy. W is wobbly and woozy. X expects a great big hug. Y is yawning, a cuddle bug. Who's that snoring? Zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz